There's a push in Washington to ban the use of the popular app TikTok here in the U.S. This comes as the Trump administration cites national security concerns for the app's association with China. But is it really dangerous? KDK's Royce Jones tells us what he's learned from tech experts. Cybersecurity experts say yes, TikTok is dangerous to our personal information, but so are other apps that we're currently using. They say it's up to us to decide whether or not sacrificing our personal information for entertainment is worth it. Five star ratings, millions of users, people love TikTok. TikTok is where the where the kids are hanging out nowadays. The app is known for its fun filters and prides itself on being the place for video sharing. The app is free, but Patrick Uola, who teaches cybersecurity at Duquesne, says you are the cost. Look for the product. If you can't figure out what the product is, you are the product. Even if you don't have the app open, Tech experts say the app may still be watching and listening to you, and chances are you probably gave it permission. Once downloaded, the app requests access to your device's camera and microphone, giving you access to its features and the app access to your private information that gets sold and used for ads, even tracks the videos you interact with on the app. So you can always turn off these permissions, but then the app has a tendency to stop working. You literally go on Facebook, and what's there an ad of? of like what you were just looking at on the it's internet. Awesome. Yeah. It's very off-putting. Nothing's safe anymore on the internet. Uola says American-owned companies like Facebook and YouTube do the same thing, but says the apps are useful to the federal government because it could potentially request access to that same data. Since TikTok is a foreign company, he believes talks of a potential ban are political. Coming down from the president as, a, as an anti-China talking point. Uola says ideally we should uninstall all social media from our devices, but considering tech is king of communication right now, we need to ask ourselves, do we need it? I'm Royce Jones, KDKA News.